Hey folks, Ian Smith with Kelly and Hockey. What I got for you today is uh, something that uh, it's called the side fake. Now, the a fake, what it must do is must it must create an action. It must encourage the defender to move in the way you faked, or the stick to move in the way you faked. Something has got to make the defender bite on something. That's the fake part. You make them go this way, they go the other way. So the more ways you can create that fake, the better you can combine all the moves together to create an action, whether it's on a breakaway, whether it's on a one-on-one, -on -one, whatever it is, you know, it just with a pass. I use this move, the side fake, which is just this. That, that was the side fake. I use that all the time. If I want to pass the puck on that side of the ice, and I've got a defender coming at me, right? So I've got a defender in front of me like this, and they, they generally, you know, they put, they put their stick in the way that they feel that they're gonna be able to get the puck. So if I wanna pass the puck over there, what I'll do is a little side kick like that, which draws the defender's stick over, which opens up a nice lane for me to pass. That little side fake looks like I'm passing it over there. So a defender would move their stick like that. That would be enough to open up a whole lane back across. Side fake. Okay? Now what it is, is the same thing that we did when we looked at the snap. The snap was the puck starting in front of you and you pass the puck to yourself. And you snap it across, right? But it's a pass to yourself. Well, the side fake is the same thing. But it starts from the back of your skate and you pass it to the front of your skate. So looking at the side, if I'm gonna do a side fake from here, like I'm about to pass, and when we pass, we wanna have the puck you know, starting at the back of the skate. So you can pass it. So that's what it looks like, it's a pass. So I start here, go there. But if you notice, I'm having my weight shift on this side so it looks like I'm passing the puck that way. That's the whole point, is to create that moment of indecision where I have put my weight there, my body goes that way, and my puck all at the same time. The timing is when I pass the puck forward and I lean and stop and stop the puck all at the same time. There's the side thing. So imagine I'm coming in. So there's the pass, right? So I'm coming in. comes in like this at all, that is not creating that fake. So it's important that, you know, you look at the blue line and you look at the puck it's straight up. I might even do it even a little further over that way and pull across to bring my player or bring my puck or pass over there. So as I'm coming in, I'll lean on my inside leg, coming in, lean on my inside leg, pass it, pull it across, and then make my play. Okay? I use this as a, a breakaway move. I showed in another video that I, I, I do two things that I like to do to freeze the goalie. The first one was the soft drag fake shot. Which looks like that. It's very similar in nature to the side fake, where you would come in, do your side fake, and move to your backhand, and then onto your, onto your, onto your backhand shot. So the goalie thinks that even that is a little shot, which would freeze the goalie for a second, going that way, and you're pulling it across on the back end. If you don't do any kind of freeze on a breakaway, the goalies, you know, they're getting pretty good at getting across in their, in their uh, um, butterflies. So having that kind of a freeze is great. So the side fake is a great way to freeze. The soft drive fake shot is a great way to freeze, but it's the same concept with the puck being Brought over to the side and stop. Pass it to yourself and stop.